I grew up and I was like, I was a very bad kid, you know? Really? Yeah, I got into a lot of trouble. I uh, was really heavy into addiction. And it wasn't until I got locked up in juvie where uh, I had so much time on my hands and, you know, I was like pretty much just trying to kill time and I would just doodle. And I was really into fashion. Like I grew up around like, um, I was like really into the skate scene and that's when like everybody was coming out with like DC and like their brands and I really liked the clothing brands. I was like, and the cool skateboards with like the art. Yeah, those are cool. I was like, man, I was like, I want my own clothing line because I thought it was just so cool. Like they had like all these like brands coming out. So I would just sit there and like doodle. I would draw designs and then like draw these like little mannequins before I even knew they were, it was called gesture drawings. I used to draw figures just to oh. kind of see how they would pose. I didn't know anything about anatomy. I would just kind of do it off of memory. And then, uh, yeah, I would just do these designs and people around me would love them, you know? And yeah. like, they were like, can you do this for me, a cards? So it kind of was like, it kind of spun off into that. And I was just doing, not people, but designs and then stuff for other people. It made them happy, so it made me happy. Plus, I got snacks out of it, you know? So yeah. I was like, yeah, trade, let's trade. So yeah, so I got out and I, yeah, fast forward, I didn't do much with art. I continued to get in a lot of trouble. My past was just like very dark. So uh, finally, 2016, like it all caught up to me. Uh, this, this is what really changed my life is like, I got a sentence to a year in prison. Ooh. Yeah, but uh, me going there, like not only cleaned me up, was like the reason I'm probably doing what I'm doing now. So I, again, I had so, so much time on my hands that um, I burned like so many bridges at the time with people. I didn't really have anyone talking to me, no way to make money in, in there. So uh, I uh, just started seeing what other people weren't doing. Right. You know, like everybody's making cards. A lot of people had talent, like could draw what I was drawing, like lettering, roses, skulls. So I was like, what aren't people drawing? You know, what aren't people drawing? So there was one girl that could draw people, like yeah. really good, like draw you, like you, it looks like you. I didn't, I've never drawn a person in my, like my whole life. So I was like, um, I'm gonna just try, like I'm gonna try to draw somebody. I got a magazine. Got a picture of DJ Khaled. I still have the picture <laughs> to this day. Sat there for two days, like on and off. Like, I can't do this, I can't. By the end of that second day, this picture came out, like I couldn't believe it. Like wow. people walked by, they go, you do portraits? Me? I'm like, yeah, because yeah. I needed to get some business. I don't want to tell people this is my first one. No, I don't want to tell Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. So I started doing faces like five bucks a head. Five not bucks even. Ahead. Yeah, not. Ooh. I know. I was already starting. You know, I, I know my worth. You know. Yeah. It's funny because this goes into the murals too. You know, going into it like this. So I started doing it. Um, they came out so good. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I just started doing people, but I knew I had the skill. Like, I had self doubt, but like, I just like I was like set. You know, like I had like, I was set on doing it. The outcome was in my head. And when I got done, it was even better than I expected. Like, it was like, okay, we got this. So more and more people, I mean, I got just more portraits, more portraits. I ended up raising it, the price a little bit. So now, not only like am I having like a great time, I'm making people happy yeah. and I'm like able to get myself stuff while I'm incarcerated. COVID hits, I'm like, music's not doing it for me anymore. I'm going back to old habits. Like the scene is just not for me anymore. Right. So I was like, we're in COVID. Again, I have a lot of free time. So I download Adobe Illustrator and I taught myself. There's this guy, he goes by Chi World. Shout out um, Chi World on Instagram. He's like amazing. He taught me like everything I need to know about digital art. Okay. So I just got the program, taught myself, um, just started doing digital arts like for free, just for friends. And then people caught a wind of it and all of a sudden it's like, I'll pay you, like, you know. So I'm doing mixtape covers, I'm doing logos, like I'm doing whatever really, like kind of with the 
the prison situation, I was like, right. I didn't even know really how to use the program that well, but along uh, like the time, I just learned. But I didn't tell people I didn't know how to do it. I said, I got you. Yeah, and so then we gotta do it. You're I right. was like, I got you. And then uh, I didn't know, but I went and I learned. I watched tutorials. Uh, I don't know, I just figured it out. And then to the point where it's like, I'm still learning now with digital art, but I, like, I've gotten so good at it to where I was like, I wanna try something else. So then just like beginning of this, it's, I've only been doing murals for like a year. Yeah, I would love to know how you, how did you decide to do murals? Like, that's such a huge jump from everything else too. <sighs> Woo, um, my mom, she let me paint her backyard. She's got a big backyard. So I just started painting her walls, like, you know, a oh, little chilly. It is chilly. Yeah, I just started painting her walls and uh, I painted this huge, beautiful flamingo with like a sun. And that one like really caught attention to people. Cause people ask me again, how long you've been doing painting, da da da. And I'm like, I've been doing it for a little while, just <laughs> finessing, you know? Oh, can you paint this for me? And I'm like, sure. So I was doing like um, kids rooms, um, backyards, like just stuff like that. And then eventually, like I was telling you, I was on Craigslist one day. Yeah. And like, there's this restaurant and they're like, we need a muralist to like paint our walls. I've never painted a business, you know, never. I like hit him up and I was like, hi, like this is some of my work. I was showing them like the backyards, the kids rooms and all that. They had me come down and check out the place. And I have no idea like what I'm doing, like how much to charge, like whatever, like how I'm gonna get this on the wall. So I was like, okay, let me get back to you with a quote. I quoted them for the whole restaurant. I did it for like 840. Low. Which is very low. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> so I like that was the time I got kind of finessed, but I finessed myself. Yeah, it's so hard to, <laughs> to think about how much it costs for the first time doing it, something like that, you know? I think that it's a great time for artists. I think it is too. Yeah. I think it is too. Like, there's more exposure now than ever for artists and more freedom as well. There is, yeah. You know, the further you go back in time, the less freedom there was. Everything was commission only. And then you had to just like, yeah, go out there and kind of like with music hand CDs out yeah. or your art was just seen by the people that passed through it, right? Yeah. And like your signature, like they knew you like graffiti, like they saw your sign that's how they knew you, which is which is also cool because it's like very like underground. But then it's like it's also nice for the other parts of the world like to see your art. What do you think about like art shows and events? You go to any of those? Like, um, I went to a gallery show. I think it's great. It's like it exposes you to like different types of artists because, you know, we all have different styles. Yeah, we you do. know, and I'm like, like it, it kind of helped me open up to different like world of art and not just like, you know, the type of work that I do. Like, yeah. You know, it's just and then networking too. Like you're gonna meet other artists and then maybe collab or or just support each other. Like one follow or just like sharing their work if you yeah. like somebody it takes it like it really helps so yeah it really definitely does yeah it really does Woo. yeah it's chilly it's huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah all my work i'm getting right now most of it is coming from a muralist he's been doing this for like 60 years wow he's like 80. he's jim gardner that dude is amazing so we stay in contact he gives me tips advice like pricing you know helps me price things because this one i just did is my highest commission like i did it right i was like charging for square foot so i was actually able to get like the right quote and get my money's worth because i've yeah. been there for a month and a half so oh wow it's, it's a, a big, big project yeah, a big project so that's amazing finally gonna get my money this weekend for it but it's just nice, you know, taking, you have to take deposits too, cause you don't want to get ripped off. Yeah, definitely. I make contracts, but um, before I get started, we both sign it. I have a copy, they have a copy. Cause like, that's the last thing you want to do is work hard and then like get ripped off. Yeah, I think a lot of artists out there, you know, they're so good at art, but when it comes to like the business side of the art world, oh, yeah. they kind of lack on that and it's hard, they won't like, make a contract and like, <laughs> they just trust everyone a little too much or charge way too little. Yeah, you know? it's hard giving people a price like that comp like you have to say it with like confidence. Yeah. Cause you have to know what your art is like worth. Like I used to lowball like myself all the time. Yeah. Because I was like, well I'm just starting out. Well even my just starting out work was amazing. Yeah. To where people thought I was doing it for years. So it's like don't charge by time, charge by like 
what you put into it and like the quality and obviously other people's reactions will tell you. Yeah, Like, definitely. you know, it's like, if people are telling, like asking you, how long you've been doing this? Like how many years? And I need to paint, like, you know, it's like, you're obviously doing something right. You know, yeah, so. if they want to hire you and they like your work, then do you have a dream mural project you want to do someday? I want to just do like a building. Like, like a whole building? I want to do like the side of like a huge building where I can use a scaffold. That's so cool. That's what I want to do. Like I'm doing restaurants and businesses, but I want to like do a building, like where people drive by on the freeway or something. Yep. And then like, they just see my art. That'd that's, be beautiful. Right? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Cause it's like basically having a billboard. <laughs> you Bigger know? than a billboard. Yeah. So that's the goal. I mean, in one year, I went from painting backyards and rooms less than one year it'll be one year in january so i've done this is like my second restaurant oh wow and just like a like just starting out in january so i'm like jumping I'm, I'm moving so fast you know it's like i just it's like unreal sometimes like how did i go from like painting kids rooms in my mom's backyard to painting restaurants and businesses i'm like money motivated in a sense because I want to build a business to where I don't have to like go work for anybody else and I'm comfortable like I can just like live my life in pain which is like a dream you know I think a lot of people out there look at money especially artists and just think it's wrong to make money off art that's crazy I think some people do it takes so much time yeah. to learn like that's they don't want to associate art with passion or money with passion and art and stuff. I just feel like it's but money's not yeah. inherently bad at all. Money's a great thing, and there's plenty of it for everyone. Yeah, and it's like with we pay to eat food, right? That yeah. people make for us, like that's a good thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna go out to a restaurant, we order some food. It's kind of like with a like, you want me to create something for you? It's like it's a service. Yeah, like, it's a, if it's a good product, it deserves to be. Yeah, it's a service. Rewarded. It's just yeah, I think especially like the time it takes because. It took me a while just to get my skills to, if I wasn't doing pencil drawings and I wasn't doing digital art, I don't think I'd be able to paint murals because it all goes hand in hand. Color, like the colors and shading. And so I don't think I could have just been like, I'm gonna start doing murals. It was like the whole process, drawing little things and then drawing people and then digital art, then painting. Yeah. It wasn't just like, I have a skill for painting. Like I took me my whole life to to get to actually find like to build that skill and then execute it. So you know, like musicians and actors and actresses, they have like agents to help them get more jobs and commissions and work. They don't really seem to have that for painters or artists. I wish that'd be nice. That'd I, be I got nice. gym, you know. Yeah, gym. That's <laughs> a nice got, connection, but yeah. it's not like an actual market or like. The like whole job classification is for that. Why? Yeah, I, why is that? I always wonder that. Mm, what is missing there? Because I, I feel like know. it would be a great thing to have. Yeah, like your little agent, art agent. Yeah. So all you have to do is paint and do your art, yeah, and then nice. someone else is out there sharing your name with everyone and getting you more jobs than you can even take. Oof. Wouldn't that be? I mean, there's managers, art managers, but. I don't think that's the same thing. Those are mostly yeah. like for shows. Like yeah, we're gonna exactly. get you sell your art. Like they'll manage the art, but they don't like, they find you like buyers and stuff, but not like, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like there should be that though. That's kind of what I want to turn Goodson Gallery into a little bit. I want to move it into that direction. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. So you want to, like, that's what you want to do? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, because it's just not happening out there. Yeah. And uh, so many artists, should, they love art so much, but they don't like the other side of it. Yeah, I'm like more on the, just give me something to paint. Like, yeah. I like the other side of it. I like painting too, but the business. My, my true love is the business side of it. And I just want to put art everywhere. Yeah, I definitely, the art is where my direction. I Like, I think in like five years from now, in five years from now, if I can just continue like with what I'm doing and just doing the right thing, I believe that I could I could have my uh, building mural. Oh yeah, 100%. In five years, you know? It's just like, there's so many things in this like life that will try to lead you off course, you know? 
there's a lot and we don't realize that like mostly i mean like every day we're somewhat like we're being tested yeah and you know i don't know if like whether you believe in a higher power or not there's just like you know there's just we're always like our character like our character is always being tested through relationships through what we put in our bodies like just with everything and these those actions today like these actions are going to affect tomorrow they're going to affect next week so a lot of times you know it's like even like being consistent like if i don't work on something today i don't learn something today like with art i'm not tomorrow i'm, I'm not going to be any better you know it's like that's that's why like just staying consistent staying healthy mentally physically is going to carry you to that next level because if you don't have your mind and body you know like and you're not healthy in those how are you expect to get better you know because like with anything in life because you need that that energy yeah to care you know this is gonna affect tomorrow like if i want that mural in five years i can't you know we all obviously all need like rest days and have like mental days that's good but i can't just keep put put things off or oh i'll do that next week or a you know, like, I'll just work on it this or what and not take care of myself now.